I'm pretty sure we are all familiar with the ancient mythological stories of Atlantis and Lemuria. And some even speak of an ancient land that was once in the Pacific Ocean called Mu. Long ago, during the time of Atlantis, when we had our 12 DNA strands activated, we would be today what is known as Marvel superheroes. We had an extraordinary power. We had the ability to do what we see today on movies when it comes when it comes to these Marvel superheroes. And because we have been so far disconnected from our inner power, our true selves, since we have been robbed of our 12 DNA strand and the rest of that, the rest of our DNA period, because today they call it junk DNA. But once it is actually unlocked, we will be where we are originally supposed to be. So today we look, we look at these things as something that's not real. Many a times I have spoken about the African avatar Simeon Toko. And I speak on or speak about Simeon Toko for a reason. Because this was documented, actual facts, okay, proof. Thousands of people witnessed the power of the African avatar Simeon Toko. They saw him do what we call today miraculous things. For instance, the picture that you, you are witnessing right now is a picture of Simeon Toko showing the proof of where his heart was cut out of his body by the Belgium colonial army at the time. And it is said by the soldiers that once they took the heart out of his chest, he was supposed to have been left for dead. While on the operating table, he sat up out. He sat up off the table and told them, why do you persecute me? Give me back my heart. And they got scared and they hauled ass. They carefully placed the heart back in and took the fuck off. Okay, so he's showing you the proof of it. So, a lot of the things that we think is superstitious, is fake, is phony, is because y'all don't have any knowledge of esoteric things. Okay? Because you have been totally programmed by the media in today's society on how to see things. So, yes, all that cartoon shit is real. All of it. All that Dragon Ball Z shit. Where they um, conjuring up all this energy, which is chi energy. Where they looking for these Dragon Balls. Which ain't nothing but the damn seven major chakras. Okay. They align. Basically all they doing is getting, they getting in harmony with the divine self. But guess what? The profane will laugh. Because they have no understanding of occult or esoteric things. They will find this very hilarious. Like, oh this boy just, he done ran out of ideas. He just done ran out of shit to talk about. Because they don't understand. But once you actually show them actual facts, actual proof, even live footage, they still say the same shit. There is so much we can do and accomplish once we understand the inner workings of the chi that flows within our body and around us. You can't even get the Merkaba started unless you know how to circulate your energy, your chi. Okay, around you. So, you can't even heal a person unless you know how to circulate the chi within you. This is why we must concentrate on our breath and our thought. So, yes, of course I'm saying the supernatural is real. See, a lot of y'all won't believe it if y'all saw it with your own eyes. But you can bring this type of information to the masses and I promise you, they ain't going to believe none of that shit. They ain't going to believe a fairy real. They ain't going to believe a dragon real. But yet they believe Jesus floated up on a cloud and shit. And then you can even show them 
videos of a ascending masters walking on the clouds. They call them cloud walkers. They ain't gonna believe that shit. It, if you show it to them, they ain't gonna believe it. We are dealing with the mentally dead. And I'm not just talking about some hocus pocus shit. You know, where somebody just floated up on a cloud and went out in space with no space suit. I'm talking about ascended masters. People that are in their light body. People that um, can materialize, dematerialize by raising their vibratory rate. I'm talking about people that have achieved the rainbow body. Put it to you like this. We are not alone. There are beings that live in other dimensions. Higher dimensions. That can lower their vibratory rate to where they can be physically seen. Okay? Many of them live in Agartha. These are highly advanced beings. Now I want y'all to pay very close attention to this video that's coming up. These are ascended masters. They are known as cloud walkers. Just pay attention to it. Now the average Christian gonna say that Jesus walking on the cloud. I don't give a shit because they hold what their whole entire mindset is just based on Jesus everything when it comes to a cloud and somebody in the damn sky. But then again, they might say, or the majority will say, that shit ain't real. Man, we dealing with the mentally dead. They have no knowledge of esoteric things. They'll say it's screenshot. Now after I done gave y'all all this good knowledge, documentations on Simeon Toko regenerating his body after they had been cut into pieces, after they had been shot down like a like a nigga, not a dog, like a nigga. I done gave y'all all this good info of nothing but actual facts. And y'all still will say this shit ain't real. Okay? But you can see, a, many of us have seen UFOs, a.k.a. Merkabas, appear in your face and just disappear right in your face. And they are able to do this simply by raising their vibratory rate and lowering it. It's just that simple. Many of y'all will say, man, you done lost me with this one. Y'all will say, uh, first you said, ain't no man can go up on the, go up on the cloud, go, pay, go, at, go out in space, you know, without a space. I'm talking science when I talk like that. But what I'm showing you now is esoteric. Okay? This deals with a higher level of spirituality. This deals with achieving a certain level of enlightenment. The awakening of Kundalini using certain ancient uh, techniques of meditation. Awakening the light body. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Okay? It's just that simple. Now I'm going to show y'all another video. To show more proof. But the video going to walk you through it. Some of y'all just in denial. Hope y'all ready to see some Dragon Ball Z shit. It was in the big city where Java confronts the 20th century that we got a real shock. Lorne was suffering from a bad eye infection at the time. A cameraman's cause for panic. Lawrence had heard of a man who might be able to help and dragged me to him, despite my reservations. Here we have Master John Chang. Unlike Mantak Chia, he's actually showing you the proof of circulating chi energy. He uses acupuncture needles in the traditional points, but with a twist. Just be patient, he gonna get there. Through them, he directs a form of electricity, as he calls it. But he doesn't draw the electricity from a wall socket. He claims to generate it within his own body. It was nothing like any acupuncture I'd ever had. I was getting really powerful electric shocks and couldn't control my movements at all. Okay. 
He says that what he does is no more supernatural than an electric eel, which also knows how to harness its yin and yang energies. Yin yang, positive and negative, you know. Mm -hmm. And my positive from here and my negative from here. Mm -hmm. And we meet together, this can get uh, like electricity. And is this because you're special? You have a special sort of... Uh, no, it's body? meditation every day. It's meditation? Doctor. Meditation every day. Like a yoga. Uh -huh. But I study about 18 years. 18 years? 18 years from, from my child, from my child yeah. people. Can you project this energy through your hands only or through other things as well? This is what we call Reiki healing. The healing people like you can believe touch me. What people believe like this, it's nothing, okay? No it's my burn. Uh, it's like this. <laughs> Our sound recordist, Simi, was okay. skeptical yeah. at first. <laughs> Later, he told us that anybody could learn this. God had given us all the yin-yang polarity, but it takes discipline and meditation to awaken and control it. And you must be very aware of your emotions. This energy can be dangerous. It can kill as well as heal. Then he asked for our newspaper. Whatever he had done to our newspaper, it's how he had healed my eyes that made me wonder. What do these people living in the shadows of the volcanoes still know that we of the West have forgotten? Well, I'm going to tell you what we have forgotten. The sacred art of Mope. Okay? That's what we have forgotten. It is a very ancient art of meditation. Used in the ancient world. Used during Atlantis. Used during the time of when Egypt flourished in the initiation systems. And yeah, I'm pretty sure a few will screech with laughter at what they just saw. Because this ain't for everybody. And that power that's within us is not for everyone to unlock. Everybody is not on that frequency. Okay? It's just that simple. But for y'all that are serious, that really want to do some inner work, that really want to unlock that creative genius in you, that God man in you, that want to unlock those supernatural abilities, that want to unlock DNA strands, that want to learn how to circulate the cosmic energy, chi, and use it for something positive. Y'all just go check out the book, Enter Mo Pay. Also, check out some Muntak Chia books. He's good with teaching the um, way the energy flows of the Chi energy. He's good at teaching techniques on how to do it.